Thanks, Dominic. So um, it's good to be here. Um, those of you who don't know Xing, we're the leading social network for professionals in German-speaking Europe. Uh, so Germany, Austria, Switzerland, the Dach countries, as we call them. Um, for those of you who are from this region, uh, from Germany, Austria, Switzerland, my guess is that probably nine out of 10 of you, even more than that, are actually an active member of Xing. You're gonna have a profile on Xing, you're gonna be using Xing. Um, those of you who do any recruiting work, HR work related to Germany, I'm sure 100% of you are using Xing because we're effectively the de facto standard for anything which has to do with, with what you call social recruiting. Uh, identifying talent and addressing talent. Um, now, those of you who are not from that region, uh, from outside uh, the German-speaking European region, uh, chances of you being an active member of Xing are actually uh, much lower. Uh, because indeed, while we have a very, very strong market position in our core geographies, uh, our uh, situation in most of the other markets is, is, is different, is actually weaker. Now, why is that? Um, and the main reason why that is, is that um, about Two, two years ago, maybe a little less, uh, we have made an explicit decision uh, as a company uh, to focus on those core areas, um, the core geographic areas where we feel uh, we, have, we have strength. And uh, the reason we made the decision is that um, you know, we went through a fairly rigorous process of thinking about what are our options and where can we have growth, um, growth and you know, ideally a profitable growth uh, to develop the company. And uh, the major results and insights we had was that one, uh, within that core geographic region, which is a big region, right? It's 100 million people. In terms of GDP, it's one of the biggest and richest uh, uh, regions in the world. Um, that's the one thing. But the other thing which is important to understand is that uh, actually the whole segment of professional social networking is still fairly underrepresented uh, in those markets. So if you look at the numbers, there's roughly 100 million people uh, in German-speaking Europe. Uh, we have 5.1 million members in that region, so that's roughly 5%, a little over 5% of the population who are a member of a um, uh, professional social network. Um, if you compare that with the corresponding number in many other regions of the world, whether that's the UK or even the US uh, or other uh, markets, you see that number is actually significantly higher. So there's significant growth potential for us left, even in those core uh, geographies. Uh, the other area uh, where we have a lot of growth potential is in what we call verticals. Uh, verticals are business models, services, which sit on this business network, on this professional graph which we have built, uh, like recruiting or events, I'll talk about that more in a second, uh, which uh, uh, generate revenues uh, for us and help us drive our growth. So that's an that's a explicit um, decision we had to make, at least for the time being. And I think it has uh, served us well. Uh, we have a very strong uh, market position. We've actually strengthened uh, our market position in our core geographies. Uh, we've been able to create uh, a value for our users and ultimately also uh, for our shareholders. Now, if you go for a sort of local or regional strategy, um, it's, it's obviously important to to know who you are uh, and to differentiate and make sure that what you do and what you have you know, is actually strong enough to, uh, to compete with anyone who may come uh, along, even if it's a, it's a global player. And so uh, we at, at Xing we have a pretty clear understanding of what makes us different, uh, of what makes us unique, and of what differentiates us from any other player. Uh, and I think the key thing which makes us different and unique, which our users value, is that really from the start, from the beginning of the company, and I think Lars, the founder, is probably somewhere in the audience. From the very start, part of the vision was to bring together people who actually don't know each other yet. So networking, of course, has to do with managing the relationships of people you already know, who are part of your network. But fundamentally, networking is about meeting new people on the basis of a common interest, on the basis of you know, things you're, you're jointly interested in, some, things someone has to sell, the other may want to buy, or the other way around. And so our platform enables this, you know, getting in touch with new people, expanding your network much more and better than any other platform. The other element we believe in, and I found it interesting that you know, a lot of talk was about this this morning, is this connection and this bridging of online and offline, sort of the leitmotif of this morning's discussion. And again, we felt that that's always, always been an important part 
of networking and also of online social networking. Fundamentally, the only way to build a trusted relationship with someone is to actually physically meet that person. Uh, um, you know, that's why we all came here today in person, uh, to meet people, build relationships, and on that basis, uh, build business. And again, uh, on, on as far as that's concerned, we are offering uh, um, unique features and services which enable um, you know, physical meetings. We have um, a six-digit number of events being organized uh, through uh, by our members for our members, and we're providing tools and services uh, to enable that. And as a matter of fact, uh, we have made an acquisition uh, late last year, uh, acquiring a small company called Amiando, which provides a ticketing service which enables you to, in a holistic, integrated process, manage the entire process of, red, of um, setting up your event, promoting your event, but also uh, ticketing, billing, and payment of the tickets. And as a matter of fact, NOAA is using the Amiando technology, which is part of Xing, uh, to sell the tickets of this event and to manage this particular event. Um, in terms of business model, um, as well there, we, we are unique. Um, uh, and that's in, in the sense, in, in, the, in the mix of our revenues uh, and the way we have been building and continue to build the business. Obviously, there is a free basic membership, uh, which includes the basic functionalities you need in a professional network, uh, setting up your profile, uh, building your network, reaching out to others. Um, uh, so that's a free basic membership. And on top of that, there's two mechanisms how we monetize our business. One is through paid memberships, and here the premium membership is the most important product. And then on the other hand, we have verticals. Uh, these are um, services leveraging the social graph, the professional graph, and offering services on these spaces which are being paid for by companies. Um, today, about 15% of our members are actually paying members. Um, that's a uniquely high uh, number. Um, people pay for the service because it gives them access to the full functionality of the site. Uh, this includes uh, services like visitors to my profile. Uh, we show people who clicked on their profile and why they clicked on their profile. It, it includes extended search and messaging functionality, which are important for people who actively network on this site. Um, in terms of verticals, our biggest and most important vertical is uh, recruiting. Um, there's an obvious fit here. Uh, we have by far the biggest database of profiles, of CVs, uh, compared with anyone else uh, in, the, in the recruiting industry. Uh, we provide unique opportunities to actually search for candidates and address them. Uh, and most importantly, uh, companies have a unique opportunity on a platform like ours, which is they can address what we call latent job seekers. Uh, if you go to a traditional job board, if you post a job listing on a traditional job board, typically the people you will address are the ones actively looking for a job, but those may not be the most interesting candidates. The most interesting candidates may be those who actually are in a job, but could be interested to jump ship if they're being given and if being shown the right opportunity. And so for these customers, we have a product where we take the job listing and match it with people with their profiles and so um, give them the opportunity to you know, get access to a job opportunity they wouldn't otherwise get. Um, so that's our e-recruiting uh, vertical. Uh, I talked about the events vertical. Um, you know, the events market is a very big market. It's a multi billion dollar market in the DAC region alone. And if you just look at the uh, marketing and sales piece of, um, of that market, so the, people money, uh, the money people spend to actually attract customers to their conferences, conferences like this one, it's still a very large multi-billion euro market. And um, with a professional network of the kind we have, we have unique opportunities to enable people to promote an event on the site and manage the entire process of uh, registration, billing, and payment. Um, so that's, uh, in a nutshell, uh, our business model. And uh, that's, that's what our journey is and continues to be. Uh, so grow our member base in, uh, for our core geographies, and on that basis, monetize that member base through a combination of uh, paid members and uh, verticals. Uh, we've, that's what we've done uh, over the past few years, and we've done this fairly well. We're a public company, so it's all very transparent. We're doing uh, north, of, um, north of 65 million in uh, revenues this year, euros revenues this year with an EBTA of north of 20 million uh, euros. So it's a nicely growing, profitable business, business, and we continue on our journey and feel good about where we are. That's from my side, and I'm happy to take any questions if there are any. Thank you.